everybody welcome back to one seed one world so this evening i want to talk to you a little bit about growing cauliflower <clears throat> now in this bed here i've got a mix of both cauliflower and brussels sprouts growing um, but just want to talk a little bit about how you can grow cauliflower and be successful at it now cauliflower is a little bit more finicky in the variety that is um, brassicas or the family that is brassicas or the like, sometimes they're called coal crops there are uh, things like broccoli and kale and brussels sprouts and cauliflower they're all part of the the same type of family they like cool weather but cauliflower can be a little bit more picky um, whereas your kale and broccoli and whatnot might be more frost tolerant sometimes Cauliflower doesn't like the harder frost so much. They do like the cooler weather, but not the hard frost. So to grow them, you can start them inside, uh, probably about 10 weeks or so before your last uh, frost date in the spring, to kind of get them going and established. And then when you're kind of past that time when you're gonna get the hard frost, light frost might be okay, but you know, I don't know, maybe depending on what your location is, for me here it's April, uh, you can move them outside and they will thrive in that kind of cooler spring weather. Um, especially, you know, like up to about 75 degrees, they do very well. You hear the siren? Got something going on. There it goes. Okay, <clears throat> anyway, they like the cooler weather. Um, but they don't like it too cold and they don't like it too hot. If you are growing cauliflower and it gets too hot, they won't give you a decent head. They will put off like these little like weird floret things um, and not really give you a nice head of cauliflower. So you wanna get them started early and be able to harvest them before like the extreme heat of summer. Now we've had uh, a weird spring early summer where it goes from like three days of 95 degrees you know 98 degrees high humidity and then three days later it's 70 degrees and 50 degrees at night so there's been a lot of weird mix back and forth for us but i was able to be successful with growing some cauliflower so let's take a look at it so i've been growing this stuff in a hoop bed uh, and that is if you've watched my earlier videos uh, on how to build one and um, you know I switch out plastic versus the row cover that covers it and that does a fairly good job of keeping out some of the pests that really like your coal crops or your brassicas and that is primarily the cabbage worm which is a pretty little butterfly looking thing or moth looking thing that you'll probably see flitting about your garden throughout the summer but if they get on these crops and lay eggs, they can decimate a crop pretty quick. So the hoop bed helps protect that for the most part. Although I still have had some get in here because mine's not airtight, so you know, whatever. But I still have some stuff growing in here. And you might notice like, this is not cauliflower. This is some kale left over from last year that has popped up and is growing again this year. But I do have some heads of cauliflower in here. So we already talked about the first step. Get them going early so that you can harvest before the hot summer heat. Now, they also can handle partial shade. In fact, they might even do better in partial shade. In the full sun, it might get too hot and then they might do it, might not do as well. Uh, if you don't have an area that is uh, partially shaded or and you don't have the, the hoop cover bed because that can help shade some too, there's another thing that you can do that's called blanching. And this is not blanching like boiling it in water like you do when you're preserving your vegetables. But blanching for cauliflower is you're gonna have your head of cauliflower. Let me see if I can get this in on the camera. So we have a head of cauliflower here, right? Blanching is, you see they grow like these great big leaves, right? Although some of mine have gotten eaten away, but some of them are much larger. This is probably not the best head to show you on, but so you see some of these leaves here and you have your head of cauliflower. Blanching helps protect it from the, some of the heat in the sun. And you can take all the big leaves, and kind of fold them all over like that. 
don't pay attention that I'm using leaves from other plants. We'll just pretend that's not happening. But, but you take some of these leaves and you'll kind of fold them over the head of the cauliflower as it starts to develop. And you will put like say a rubber band or some kind of string to tie it around here. And that will help hold in some moisture, help keep some of the heat out. And if a cauliflower head gets uh, too much sun or too much heat, it's gonna start doing some weird stuff. And I have some now because these should have been harvested already, but I'll kind of show you what it looks like where they start doing these weird little extra blooms out of it. But if you do the blanching process, grab, let me get the dead leaf out of here. Bunch your leaves over like that, tie them together, and that will help protect your head of cauliflower even more. All right, so here's our hella, our, our hella. Here's our hella, here's our hella. So here is our little head of cauliflower, right? Let me get this cut off. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and harvest this. If I can get underneath the here to it. Got other leaves in the way. I'm gonna snip some of these leaves out of the way. Chickens will probably eat some of these. Now, this is one of those heads, it's got something on there, uh, that has, I waited too long to harvest. It's starting to get some like these little kind of bubbled out florets. Like preferably you would have harvested this a little bit earlier and you'd have a tighter head, but this is still pretty close. Like I'm probably only a couple of days late at this point. So we still have a really good head of cauliflower, but you can kind of see how it's like bubbling out a little bit. That's from too much heat and waiting too long to harvest. This is a, a smaller head, but you see how much tighter it is. It doesn't have any of the bubbles. Actually, there's a little tiny one just starting right there. You can maybe see that. But overall, this is a nice little head of cauliflower. And it's nice and tight head. That's kind of what you're looking for. So step two, when you're growing cauliflower, you want to harvest it before it gets too hot and it starts doing weird stuff. Here's another example and this is a rough looking example. This one has got weird stuff going on. Uh, it's got some dark spots. Uh, the heat uh, and whatever else has kind of got to this one a bit more. It even has look, some bad black spots under here. Don't want that. That's yuck. Get rid of that. There's still some usable here but some of this is not so good. So not every head is gonna be successful. This one is probably, again, it's not huge, but this is probably my most perfect head of cauliflower. Perfectly shaped, tight, no dark spots. Everything is looking amazing. That's the kind of cauliflower head that you're looking for. And you can be successful at growing cauliflower. You just have to start it early enough Protect it from the extreme cold frost. It likes the cooler weather. And get it planted early enough so that you can harvest it before the heavy heats come in. Um, now, of course, you know, the leaves and stuff are edible. It's, you know, part of the cabbage family and the kale and all that. You could, you could eat this if you want to, or you can feed it to your chickens if you've got chickens. Um, the one, I guess, unfortunate thing about cauliflower is that you are only gonna get one of these. It's not like broccoli where, you know, you pick your main head and then you'll still get some like little side shoots of maybe smaller broccoli florets coming in. Cauliflower doesn't do that. You get one main head, you harvest it, and then the dishes are done, dude. So, once it's done, you can pull out your plants, plant something else, um, compost those, feed them to the chickens, whatever it is that you are able to do, eat them, you can, you can do whatever you want. Uh, but then you have more garden space and you can plant a second crop for uh, other things or you can maybe save this area and then again, maybe say, I don't know, late July, August. Again, it all depends on where you're living and, and kind of when your, temp, your high temperatures start to wane. Um, but you could do a second crop and then harvest more cauliflower in the fall. Uh, just time, 
you know, your your planning right, because I think these take probably, uh, I forget, but probably at least a good 90 days uh, or more. They might even be more than that to get the harvest. But you kind of have to time it so that you don't plant them too early where they're going to just bolt, bolt immediately if it's too hot out. If they sprout and then it's too hot, they're going to just go to seed and you're never going to get ahead. So you kind of have to time that out. But you can be successful growing cauliflower. One, plant them early. They like the cool weather, but not too cold and not too hot. Try to get it in that 75, 80 degree range maybe uh, Fahrenheit. It's good if you grow them in a covered bed because they will be affected by things like cabbage worms. They will be attacked if they are not protected. Um, harvest them before they've, once they've formed a decent head but not uh, been hit by any extreme heat where they start growing the weird stuff out or maybe get affected by other diseases and whatnot. Uh, and then pull the plants after you've harvested your one head and replant for a second planting in the fall. And that's how you can grow some good cauliflower. There you go. I'm, this is my, I'm really, I, I gotta look around in here. I might have a couple more ones in here, but this is my best one. This is nice. All right, guys. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with me again today. We will see you again soon. I hope you're having a great day in your neck of the woods. And I hope whatever it is that you're growing this summer, hope it's gone amazing for you. But see you again soon. Namaste.